So this is now all we have in my uh, walk-in wardrobe, in my uh, master bedroom. The other side of this is the uh, grey box that the pipe work from the street terminates at, and the fibre just comes straight through there. And this is plugged into a jack that is going to my router at the other end of the house. Um, I did have this media converter previously in use, it is gigabit. Uh, but it's no longer required. The old uh, fibre to the curb copper connection was kind of crap um, and the network connection unit was dropping the link constantly and giving me a hard time. So um, isolating the network connection unit from the router was enough to convince the router that the um, link wasn't dropping because it can't see it obviously. It's completely isolated. Um, yeah. So I don't need that anymore and it's working fine so far. Yeah, presentation's not my strong point and I haven't even labelled any of these uh, ports. So it's kind of a pain in the butt anytime I need to move things around. So I was using this media converter, gigabit media converter, um, just to isolate the copper from the network connection unit. Um, a switch would have done the same thing uh, because that technology was dropping out 150 times a day. Well, it was dropping the link to this router 150 times a day and I was fed up with the constant notifications. Um, so yeah, that's why I installed the uh, media converter. Out of interest, this is what the unit uh, what is it called? Network connection device for fibre to the curb looks like in Australia. This is what injects the uh, power back down the line for that uh, DPU or whatever it's called in the uh, street to receive its power. So yes, you are providing the power for that thing out in the street to uh, have an internet connection. This is now surplus to requirements. Oddly, I have two of these. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them now. I asked them if they wanted to take it away when they did the conversion, and they said no. I said, should I throw it in the bin? And they didn't give me an answer, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Um, I'll just give you a quick look inside this thing. I'm just carefully going to obscure the uh, individual number of this connection unit, because uh, I don't want NBN knowing that I'm playing around with their equipment. Not that I'm doing anything, I'm just having a look. So you can see the uh, power supply on the right hand side, that's what is uh, plugging into the outlet there. You can see the fibre as it comes through the wall there, it's wrapped around here a bit and then it uh, plugs into the bottom of this unit. These Uni D 1, 2, 3 and 4 ports are the subscriber ports. I'm currently on port 1 and I believe you can have up to 4 separate accounts from one of these units. Um, these two jacks on the left here, Uni V1 and 2, they're for an analog phone line for like old people that don't want an internet connection and they just want an analog phone service and they're in a fibre only area. That's where their telephones plug into. But um, yeah, everyone else, you're going to be using an ethernet jack and a router and you could probably just use VoIP if you wanted to have a phone. And they're the uh, status LEDs on the top there. So not very exciting, but it is a massive increase in speed. Anyway, I'm on the one gigabit plan, um, and so far so good. It's working well.